Hey everybody, and welcome back to Wizard's Lizard with uh, Bearded Normal, also known as Ben. Hey, how's it going, everyone? How was your weekend? Mine was okay. It was uh, eventful. We ended up finding a new place. So, um, oh, before I go in here, uh, this rocket, someone asked in the comments, I used it way back when, but it was like a 4th of July special item. And it shoots like an exploding AoE. It's it's a fun item, but I think Moto's uh, Fireball does more. So we're going to go ahead and pick up Multi-Strike, Abacus, Denki, these two, and let's pick up Exploding Totem. Yeah, it's a pretty good start. We are going to go through the entire game tonight, uh, hopefully. Just because I I don't like skipping the earlier levels. I, I thought I would. I thought I'd prefer it, but I feel like you just need that running start for the crypto you're just gonna die, so. Okay, so we're dealing 20 damage per strike. Not a mimic into lead boots or dark iron boots. I feel like I'm just gonna continue to call them lead boots, uh just cause I don't know, so I I'm just gonna keep doing it. So I hope you guys don't mind that that is what I'm going to continue to do, but, you know. They, I believe they were lead boots before they were changed in uh, the update. So, I don't think I'm entirely wrong in calling them that, but I, I guess I am currently wrong, if I were to say it that way, but... Whoop. And man, I really hope I beat the game soon, because... Uh, this is the game that I've had the worst track record with. I mean, it is a hard game, but Ascendant was really hard too, and I did not take that long to beat this. I'm gonna go on 30 episodes of this soon, and I still haven't beaten it, which is sad, to be sure, but, I mean, maybe I'm just not really playing it as well as I could be. In fact, I kind of know... But I haven't been playing it as well as I could be. I'm not going to go for the forest. Uh, let's just uh, do a vanilla run tonight. I want that gold. Thank you. And the reason I'm doing that is because I feel like the vo the forest uh, is a little more dangerous for us. I want to take it a little easy so we can kill two birds. Let's actually kill these two. With that. There we go. We got some uh, owls floating around. Pop. Pop. There we go. That was a pretty good way to handle that room. I enjoyed it. Okay, so it looks like your cooldowns do recover at the beginning of every room. So, uh, I guess that's a change that they did recently because I don't remember that being the case. But that's... Oh, it looks like we bought all of the blueprints from the forest. That's good. So now we, uh, not the forest, the graveyard. So I guess we should skip graveyard part part two every time and go to the forest. So uh, that was my bad, but um, I hope you understand why I'm doing it. And I'm sorry I'm back to saying um, but I haven't commentated anything since before the weekend ended. Ooh. Well, yeah, uh, like I said earlier, I, I had a pretty eventful weekend. We we're going to be living with our friend Sebastian soon, and... Yep, fun things are gonna happen. Wizard's hat, nice. So if we ever die and need to come back to life, we can go ahead and slap that sucker on and... Well, it's already on, but... We can res ourselves with five more HP than would be normal. I enjoy that. Okay, we're not gonna kill ourselves to get that. We will hurt ourselves, possibly. Nope. Okay, wizard shoes... Or iron boots. I will take dark iron boots for now. But if I die on this floor, I will go ahead and go pick those up before I res myself. Doing that little uh, swap lead boots and uh, doing the swap for lead and soul to get more health out of the respawn. Probably be good. There you go. Oh, how'd he hit us? Okay. Two owls gone. Last owl. 
There we go. Man, I really do wish Moto wouldn't get hurt by uh, raw meat because it's a werewolf. Like, they should eat raw meat all the time, being a werewolf. I'm, I guess I'm generalizing. If there's any werewolves out there, I apologize if you don't eat raw meat. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, man, I ran right on top of that. Hmm. I still don't think it's worth it to die. But I will buy some food. Actually, no. At this point, it would be worth it to die because we wouldn't have to buy as much food. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to kill ourselves. And then slap those items on. And I guess we can slap this item on now to make it a little easier to die. And where was the hexing room relative to us? Okay, it's not that far away. So, let's just do that. And I guess we can do this puzzle now, so... Not all is lost, but it's a little annoying. Especially since we'll have to fight our way through at least one more ghost room. Yep. Nope, no spawner in here. So that wasn't that hard, I'm just whining like a big baby, like always. Boing! Boing! Okay, so we came back with 35 health instead of 25, that's a benefit that we gained through our soul power raising items. And then let's go to the shop and buy, I think the cupcake should be able to heal us back to full. If not, it'll bring us pretty darn close. Um, there we go. Thank you. So, overall, the floor did not go as well as it could have because I, st I ran right into a bomb like a big old dummy, but you know what? It's fine. And we go right back up to 70 health. If we hadn't done that swap, we would have gotten five less... I'm mad at myself. But we would have gotten five less health from uh, reviving, and we would not have 70 max health right now. So, uh, basically, we would have ended up kind of like that. But... Ooh. I didn't expect those to be continuing going towards us. I thought they were going to be retreating back to their spots. It's unfortunate. There we go. Cemetery 2, or 3, rather. Hello, it's a bat room. First Mimic. That went okay. And once again, hopefully... <laughs> well, once again, the theme of this run seems like it's going to be, where are the damage items? There you go. So let's go ahead and... Oh, there's some damage items. Thank you. Oh, man, I thought that would kill him. I am naive. But now we deal 25 damage. It's a 5 damage upgrade if you weren't paying attention to our damage before. Oh, more villagers. So I guess we bought out all of the uh, blueprints before we actually finished collecting all the villagers. Which kind of says something about how well how good I am at collecting villagers which is not very there we go I enjoy that you get your sprint back at every level because now you can use it to travel back and forth really easily gotcha Okay, so we kill those bats in one hit now, which is good. Ooh, trap rooms. Good. Oh, werewolves. I am your brother, please stop. Why so much infighting? Is it because I'm a gray wolf? Just because I've lost some of the color in my hair doesn't mean... Okay, there we go. Awesome. So it's the one we like where all of the uh, zombies are surrounding him. Oh, we have no soul power. It's okay. Not a huge deal. Let's get rid of those. And this one. 
Okay, so he's got this super long range, but he's slow. That's the theme of this particular zombie warlord. Okay, so he's coming this way. Hopefully that means he'll run into the explosives down at the bottom. Okay, he did not get hurt by that, unfortunately. He'll get hurt by that, though. Wonderful. So this stage is almost done. We've done reasonably well. Just a couple more shots. There we go. Zombie Warlord done. Cemetery over. Pretty good. If I do say so myself. No. Sorry, Hornets. Goodbye. I really wish that was a better weapon, but it's okay. Ooh, Cemetery 3 complete. Going on to the sewers at full health feels pretty good. And uh, hopefully we have enough damage to one-shot the slimes, because that makes this area in particular a lot less stressful. Hmm, sure. Oh, that's nice, actually. So now if we get hurt, we can run back and do that. Or this. Many options. Thank you for uh, giving us a hat, I guess. I was kind of happy with the wizard's hat, and I would have pro probably only traded it for a damage upgrade besides that health, I guess. So, it's fine. Ooh. Nice. The explosive totem is very, very strong, and I'm happy to have it. Okay, not strong enough to one-shot those yet. There we go. One more. Two-shotting mutant zombies is okay. I've had runs where I had to, like, five-shot them, mostly in dagger runs, but... Which sounds like a new tabletop game. <laughs> as much as, as good as Poison Totem is, I think I'm going to stick with Explosive Totem. Alright. Ooh! No. Don't want to be taking damage like that. The main reason I don't want to be taking damage like that is because I really don't want to have to run all the way back to get those health ups, because I think we're about to come on the end. Yeah, we did. So, hmm. Is it worth five? Now it's worth running back. <laughs> now that we have a... Oh, you know what? We're not going to leave through this passage anyway, because we're going to the Thieves' Den. Because I still think it's worth trying to get the... Uh... Ooh. Do we go to the Thieves' Den? Den? We have the slime key. So maybe it'd be better to go for the, uh... To go for the, uh... The feather, and... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna complete this floor. I'm gonna go through it all. So, that's what we're doing. We're not gonna go to the thieves' den unless I find the blood key on this floor, because I can't remember if it's the first or second floor on this one. I think it's the second, but I'm not... 100% on that. So, it might be the first. And if it is the first, we'll go ahead and do it now. But. And then we will go to the Thieves' Den. But. In the meantime. Okay, who's left? You? Who's left in here anyway? Starring Drew Carey. Okay. Worthless sword. Gloves I don't want. I don't have a chest yet, so I'll take the shaman tunic. Uh, let's buy the map. There we go. Now, we can estimate the fastest way to get through a dungeon. So, And I know I should be killing all of the shopkeepers in the, uh, <laughs> in the thieves' den. I'm just really not that good. Honestly, that's my... Uh, that's the coup on that strategy. 
Thank you for not coming back to life. And there is a Zora somewhere in here, so let's try to catch him somewhere. Gotta be up here. Yep. There we go. And... Okay, there's the Thieves' Den. But yeah, right now our priority is blood key into or slime key slime key into blood key into feather into maybe unlocking a new character. And the feather seems super nice anyway. Like you you can just walk over lava and stuff. That's super awesome. I don't think you trigger spikes anymore either when you uh, do that. Or maybe you just don't get hurt by them. I don't know. Okay, so confirmed. Blood Key is not on this floor, so we're not going to be able to go to the Thieves' Den this run, which is unfortunate, as I spent 5,000 gold on it earlier, but that's okay. There we go. And we... Okay, let me make sure I'm not being an idiot here. Yeah, we did see the whole level, and none of them had the chest in it, so... Looks like we're going to go back down here, gamble one more time, pick up the health in here, and be on our way. Okay, not bad. I'll keep my uh, my lead cap. I think 10 extra health now is better than 5 health later. Especially since we... Uh, I don't know, we can find more soul power later. I don't know why I went this way. I should have gone up and around. Didn't look at the map. Alright. I'm still amazed by this, by Moto's starting move. It's very, very strong. 20 damage is, if, if you're unfamiliar with this game, uh, Raja, the lizard, starts with a long, uh, it's not the long sword, I guess it's just a sword, which deals 10 damage. And Moto starts with a fireball move that deals 20 damage. It normally doesn't shoot two, but I, I buy the ring of multi-strike at the beginning of the game, giving me two attacks. So, however, Raja having a low damage starting move also frees you up to taking some of the less known, uh, like more fun items. Whereas Moto, it's like, oh, you're throwing down Essence of the Wolf. What are you, an idiot? Anyway, here's our sweet, sweet blood key. And this isn't going to be the end, but there's normally something at the end of these paths. Maybe it's a villager or something. There we go. And it looks like the uh, the essence of the wolf actually deals more damage to slimes in general, because they were dealing 37. Weird. Here's a hexing room in case we die. Hope we don't, because there's no reason to die here. Although, once again, if we do get low enough that it, we would get more health for reviving than we would for uh, staying alive, that's fine. We will do it again, especially since there's another cupcake, some cooked meat, and an orange in the shop. We can basically go back to full once we revive, so I'd be happy with that. Uh, basically, that means we have a safeguard if we ever do take a huge amount of dumb, dumb, dumb damage. You know what I would want? A weapon that deals double damage to these eyeballs. Ooh. Because three-shotting them doesn't make me super happy. Oh my god, a room of eyeballs. The new book in the uh, Song of Ice and Fire series. Ooh. Okay, so we found our villager once again. Standard villager receiving technique completed. Nice. 
So we've taken out a couple paths from the beginning, but I feel like we should go down here so that we never have to come back. And we still haven't taken damage yet, which is astounding because I am normally really bad at this game. I should say we haven't taken damage on this floor specifically. Oh, yes. Awesome. So it seems like that uh, chest we picked up, the Shaman Tunic, did increase the damage on our explosive totem. So now we deal 60 damage with uh, the explosion instead of 50, which uh, is a pretty big increase for a totem. So it's pretty good. Maybe I'm, like, very much underestimating the benefit of the Shaman items. That's probably the case. Okay, let's get rid of him. Oop. I like the range on this too. It is actually pretty good. I always neglect to say that when I'm using it. There we go. Oh man, I hate these rooms. All right, you. No. I don't think that's worth it. Um. Oh man. With all these ice things hanging around here, I don't see a way that we're not gonna take damage on this room. Oh, oh. At least they're clearing out the uh, face huggers by itself. Oh, we did it! Oh, that was so fast. Thank you, random number generator. Or my brain's guessing power, I guess. I don't know. To whoever should claim the victory of that room. Boom. Okay, so here's the end of this floor. I guess we could just leave. I don't see any benefit in staying since we haven't taken damage. Oh, it's about to happen. Oh, we did it. We didn't do it. No. Okay. Now that we have taken damage, we have to go to the shop. <laughs> and buy some health because I don't enjoy leaving floors at suboptimal health if I don't have to. And now that I've taken damage, I'm just taking it all over the place, so. Ooh. Now, there's no point in not exploring the rest of the floor because since we're going back to the shop, we might as well see what else this floor has to give us. We might get another spiked weapon or a spiked item. Wow. Where's the slime? I guess it's this one. There you go. Ugh, that's annoying. At least we have a lot of health. If we were in ghost form there, we would have been dead because uh, Moto's ghost form has a lot less health. I think it has 30? At normal? Okay. So this room's gonna have a bunch of uh, slimes. Lantern. We already have one. Thanks, though. Oh, okay. Really? Anti-venom ring. Alright, if we really, really hate poison, eventually, we can actually get that. Which would make the, uh, the swamp hag... That would make that fight really easy. So maybe I'm... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I really need to adjust my... <laughs> my, like, favorite items in this game, because... Ring of Multi-Strike! I think is probably one of the best rings in the game, but I feel like I should really like some of the defensive rings a little more, like ice immunity would be awesome, probably immunity to poison would be sweet, I don't know. Like this. This would be not happening right now. It's fine though. There you go. Spike trap dealt with. There's another spike trap, at least one on the way back to the top. I don't know where it is, but let's not be poisoned when we enter that room so we can dodge it if need be. There it is. Okay, there's that. And we're on to stage three. 
of the sewer, and hopefully we can continue our halfway decent streak. So, don't die. Boom. Oh, one of you. Hello. Four shots. Not my favorite. We'll deal with it, though. Okay, so I have no idea where the boss could be, because I didn't check the map like a big dummy. But, we should be okay. Ooh. Boop. There you go. Nice and easy cleanup. And I guess we leave. I really hope I don't die because I hate fighting those things on the sewers. Ooh, we already have spiked gloves, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we don't really want anything on this room. Okay, that is the first soul orb we've gotten on Moto, I'm pretty sure. And we already have the monster manual too, don't we? Yep, I bought it at spawn, so... Thanks, but no thanks. See you later. Oh, I'm floating. <laughs> I did that weird running bug again. Okay. Please don't take much damage because we're gonna need that. This is totally a mimic. Yep. Don't ask me how I knew. I was just guessing by the way it was placed in the room. I th I feel like there's there is some way you can tell. But it wouldn't matter, because you have to open them anyway. I guess just not opening them would be a good strategy, but... Okay. I don't want to pick that up, because... Actually... Book of Totems, what do you do? Increases power. So... We don't really need... Health bars, because we kill things... In a standard number of hits. Depending on what they are, so why would we need a health bar telling us how close we are to killing them. Really? Okay, where are you? <laughs> Please die. Go away, thank you. What is over there? Nothing! Just a room, huh? Okay, it's a room with a treasure chest. Let's be honest, probably a mimic. Yep. Thank you. Probably should just not open them, if I have that feeling. But I'm so curious. Because what if they give us- oh, I shouldn't have broken that. There we go. But what if they have, like, a spiked item in there? That's what I'm looking for, right? Get out of the door. Thank you. Ugh. Very... Very long floor. Oh. There you go. Okay, is this the way to the boss room? I don't think so. It is not. It's unfortunate. However, we can do that. I always forget to do this. I didn't actually kill those things. I'm pretty sure an explosive mushroom did. <laughs> that I set off by being too close to it through the wall. What else is up here? Is there a slime right here? Yeah, there is. Damn it. Oh my god. Really? That was a series of really bad, really unfortunate events there. Sorry to quote the uh, the book series, but also we found the shovel boss zone. 
for those of you not familiar with that, apparently, if you go there with the shovel that you can get on the forest, you can uh, fight something that can drop a different weapon, and yada yada, side quest stuff. I don't know what else that leads into, but that might actually be it, so I don't know. Ooh. Wow. Just running into creatures now. Just don't touch anything on the way out, and you should be okay. Boop. 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 So in practice, I think it sh Well, I mean, on paper, I think I was correct with getting mo rid of Monster Manual and instead taking up the Grail of, uh the Book of Totems, but in action, I'm really, like, messing up for some reason, and I think it might have something to do with not being able to see who's closer to death. I don't know. It shouldn't be that way, I realize, but it's it's kind of being that way right now. Oh my god. Status effects in the sewer. Making me really mad. Anyway. Oh! I keep, like, jumping back to where my apartment is, but I'm really excited. Um, luckily, my new apartment's gonna be really close to where I work, so I'm gonna be able to come home and record a lot more easily, and hopefully that'll affect my gameplay in a positive way, as I will not be so sleepy when I begin my uh, recording adventures for the night. Okay. You can't be an enemy in here, I don't think. Nice hat of speed, bro. No. <laughs> Mainly because it lowers our health. If, if it didn't do that, I would gladly take some speed upgrades, but unfortunately, that would make us pretty slow. Or that would make us really low health, rather. Uh-oh. Really? Okay. We deal 70 damage with our totem. That is really powerful. However, we're about to fight a boss with while we have 20 health. I don't really see this going well, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, that seemed to go okay, although we are one shot away from doom. Oh, man. Oh, the poison did not help. Okay, well, at least we have so many health upgrades that now we basically have the equivalent of uh, Raja's starting health, and we no longer have to worry about uh, poison, so so long as I don't get that close to her and take damage for no reason, like a dummy, I'll be okay. Okay, she's up here. My god. What did I just say? <laughs> Do not die on the swamp hack again. Oh. Please kill this before it shoots. Thank you. Oh my god. I ran into the ledge. Really thought I was not standing there. Oh. Oh. There we go. Now just don't die on the way out. And you'll be okay. I promise. Better kill these. Yep. Ooh, that was a that was a clencher there. Okay, explosive totem, thanks. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> so at least we made it to the crypt. That's something, right? And we learned something, which is never not go to the forest because you need the blueprint the blueprints that are there. It's pretty good. Okay. So I say we deal with her last, because she only- she's like an owl, she doesn't attack you unless you attack her, so. Well, what I should say is she doesn't attack you unless you get close, comma, or attack her. But, I didn't really think about that part. Oh man, don't like this ghost. There we go. 
deal with everything before that Minotaur. Because he scares me. Oh, don't charge us. Thank you. No! <laughs> Ooh! I guess one of our beams traveled far enough to hit her. Okay. Whoa! 75 damage! Oh, I have no idea why our current attack is so super effective against those guys, but I am happy because the fire elementals are one of the most annoying enemies in the game, so I'm very pleased with our ability to deal with them so quickly. There we go. Clearing out the floor, hoping to find the hexing room soon so that we can come back to life and uh, feel a little better about ourselves. Although, if we do find it, I probably won't do it immediately. Oh, man. A lot of uh, scary ghost faces in here. Oop. Okay. This is an end room with a puzzle. Ooh. By the puzzle, I mean those switches. I think that's what they call these in the, like, developer notes is the puzzle room. So, let's see if there's a uh, chest. Nope. There we go. I think I'm getting a little better at avoiding stuff, so... Let's go ahead and place that there in case there's an enemy in that. Nope. Okay. Oh, man. I, I lost my fingers on uh, QWERTY for a second there, so... There we go. Just go ahead and kill this. Thank you. Hmm. Suck it. Mastered killing the Cyclops. It's kind of sad. I guess that means I've been on the crypt enough to master killing the Cyclops, so... Okay. We will... Do some of this where we break the crystals and then we will back out and then I'm going to attempt to do this but if we take too much damage in doing this I'm gonna leave and try our luck elsewhere the reason I'm doing this is because if I come back to life on this floor I'd like a room where I can regenerate some health with oh he can he even hit us no he can't Wow. Did they lower the range on this? Wow. I knew the other one couldn't shoot as far, but I didn't know this one had such a short range. Please die. How much health do you have? I'm dealing 25 damage a hit. Okay. So, that's always there to regen some health when we're low. That might happen sooner than you think. We will come back and get it, even in ghost form, if I do take a lot of damage, so uh, keep that in mind. However, it's not exactly a safe endeavor because there are a bunch of traps in that room, so it may end up being me taking more damage than I'm healing by going there, which happens more than you think. Oh my god. As I talk about dumb damage, I take a whopping 10 from walking into a ghost. Really? Long range on that axe. I, uh, I'm mad. Anyway. <laughs> Next episode, we will not do a moto run. We will do a defensive run, actually. We will, well, defensive with a trident. We're going to take the trident. We're going to buy the ring of anti-venom. We're going to buy lead boots. Lead. We're going to buy all the lead items that we can afford. And then we're going to go. And hopefully that will be enough to get us closer to the end game than we have been getting in a long time. So, oh, that's a disappointing death. But, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more in the future, let me know. Well, if you want to see more in the future, go ahead and join us tomorrow, again at 11.30 Pacific Standard Time, for another episode. So, once again, this has been Bearded Normal. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye